what about the chances to get PR after master's in IT? Now I am uh, 33. As I say, it is a problem in there. What about PhD? Why is 33 a problem, Sanjo? I mean, number one, uh, you would make it sound like 33 is uh, you know, like some kind of end of life age. Uh, I'm 50, by the way. Uh, so, and I think, uh, you know, at 50, you can still be up and running and doing a lot of things and still. Uh, there's an interesting uh, movie that always inspires me. Uh, it's called, if I mean, uh, just as a bit of trivia, everybody who is concerned about their age and wondering, oh, uh, you know, am I already getting old because I've hit my 30s or 40s? Please watch this movie called The Founder. Uh, it is about uh, Ray Kroc, uh, um, the person who uh, kind of took the first uh, McDonald's franchise from the McDonald brothers, and then he went on to uh, create uh, probably one of the largest brands this world has ever known, which is McDonald's. So, and at what age did Ray Kroc start this whole venture? At 52. So he is personally a huge inspiration to me because I'm 50 at the moment and I'm kind of also, you know, trying to build this organization and make it into the greatest New Zealand education and migration company ever. So I have my own aspirations along with my wonderful team. So yeah, for 30 is not a, a, a it's not a, an age where you should be even thinking is it the right age. Of course it is the right age. 33 is like you're like a little baby, you know, really uh, just getting started with life. Uh, uh, but so yeah, it's a good age to consider. I think the best age and also from a migration perspective, we want people who are in their uh, you know, 20s and 30s because that, that's also where you get the maximum number of points for your uh, age as well. So definitely uh, uh, it's not a problem. What are your chances after to get PR after master's in IT? It will be very good because obviously information technology is in our long-term skill shortage area and we require people, especially if you're going to come into a master's, you're going to get a three years post-study work visa. So you will get out into the job market and look for jobs like I told you it's in the long-term skill shortage area so plenty of openings in the information technology area